The San Francisco Marine Food Bank just released its COVID-19 hunger report. It looks at the rising food insecurity in the area. Joining me now is Executive Director Paul Ash. Paul, thanks for joining us to go over this report. Sure. All right, so before the pandemic, one in five people were at risk of hunger in San Francisco and Marin. Has this number increased and how has the food bank transformed its operations to meet demand? Well, it has increased. We were serving a lot of people before COVID and now we have added on to that people who are experiencing unemployment, uh, which as everyone knows has been a big number of people joining, joining our pantry lines. And other than those lines, how have you really seen the economic effects of COVID-19 impact people? Well, more people than ever are looking for food. Prior to, prior to COVID, we were serving 32,000 households every week. Now we're serving 60,000 households. So we, there's a lot more people out there and it's harder to reach them. Uh, you know, in the past, we, we've had farmers markets type distributions where people came and picked up the food they needed. Uh, now people aren't as comfortable with that. Uh, so we're doing more packaging of food and, and drive-through pickups so people don't even have to get out of their car. So we're trying to make it more convenient for people. Uh, we, we've got a, a network of pantries out there, including our 28 new pop-up pantries, which are designed specifically uh, for COVID type of distributions where, where there's minimal contact and, and, and minimal chance of, of, of creating infections. And Paul, September is Hunger Action Month, a nationwide initiative to raise awareness. What action would the food bank like to see from our elected officials? Well, the, the biggest program that the federal government operates is the SNAP program. We call it CalFresh here in California. Uh, and we'd like to see a few things happen there. One, we'd like to see the benefit enlarged. Uh, we'd like to see people get $28, $30 additional every single month uh, so, that, so that they have just a little more uh, from the program. We'd also like to see an extension of some of the exceptions uh, that were made when COVID first started. Uh, California is a, is a very restrictive state. And, and because of that, uh, we actually have very low enrollment for people who are eligible. Um, we lowered some of those some of those restrictions to be like other states when COVID started. And we'd like to see that continue even past uh, the end of the end of the, the pandemic. And one good thing we kind of seen from the pandemic is people coming together to help. What are some ways our viewers can get involved? Well, there is that element of the pandemic that, that we're, we're working together. Uh, there, there's a feeling of camaraderie. We see that in our volunteer corps and in our staff. Uh, so you know, one of the things we offer is a chance for people to come down and volunteer shoulder to shoulder, or actually six feet between shoulders uh, from other people uh, to help us get food, food out to the folks that need it. Uh, so volunteering is a, is a terrific way for people to help. Uh, we're also looking for donations. You know, we, we're a very cost-effective organization, uh, but it takes some money to keep our trucks on the road and, and the, the warehouse operating. All right, money and time, two important things. Paul, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Len.